And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Fallout 4. Aw, they're currently reigniting, aren't they? You're gonna... Oh, for God's sake. Do something! Oh, did I break the... Hey, what... Hey, Piper. Shoot. Is everything I don't know all right wrong. between us, Piper? Things are pretty good from where I'm standing. So long as we're helping people out. Shuffle. Oh, no, the game. Uh, but the cutscene was going. A secretary? God. Whoa. What the hell just happened? Ugh, this game loading's been a mess been like an absolute <laughs> like the pin they put there uh. are you here Nick was it oh it's bonding oh time it's really you well it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else <laughs> you keep laughing at death someday death's gonna laugh back not as long as I got a few friends you saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. Every cap we agreed to for finding him. Yay. Plus Money. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Here we go, questionnaire time. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the detail. By the way, you know what's funny? If you actually sit around long enough, you will say something along the line. If you don't answer, says, I don't need the siren treatment crap. We were in a vault when it happened. Uh, vault 111. It was some kind of cryo facility. Ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? My husband was aye, aye. murdered. He was just trying to keep them from taking oh, Sean and Jesus. They, they just just it's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my baby, Sean. Yes, He's that was the idea. Year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. That confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid uh, had an agenda. Dun, dun, dun. A lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. Who are the gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job. Kind of like Todd and Company from the third game. In the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. You think raiders might have done this? <laughs> I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. Super mutants? What are they? Scary. Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Damn. Then you got the newer models, good as human, infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, where they are. Not even me. I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. 
There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks <laughs> and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. You don't know anything about them. Really? Yeah. Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. Either way, I need to find Sean. Right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? Uh, let's see. One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Who is he? There's... Do you think he has Sean? Hmm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Feels like I'm watching Scar, Law and Order. Mercenary work, but... No one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned wet stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. 10 years old. Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Yeah, either that or he's got a son of his own. Not yeah. a comforting thought in any case. Both of them vanished a while ago. Haven't been heard or seen since. Let you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. Oh, yeah. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Yes, I know it's you, Travis. Travis, hiding in fear, squatting in the corner. Anyway, so now the plot's moving because I managed to get the plot moving. After this point, it's pretty much, um, it's really easy with the plot. I mean, again, the game is quick enough if you just kind of cut past the crap, really. I'm not the crap, but the other stuff. And don't get sidetracked like I do usually all the time. If you do that, it shouldn't be a problem. Hey, Valentine. Come on. Kellogg's house ain't far. I know, we're walking there. I didn't want Ellie to hear this. I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance, bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. Professional. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has Stop. no enemies, because they're all dead. Hm. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. Mass description. The is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Aye. There's a bit of a plot twist later, though, but don't worry. Again, I'm sorry I'm so quiet, but just taking in the plot, it's so good. And now we're getting the main game... The main game is moving. Nick. Hold your horses. Can you pick locks, too? One heck of a lock. Something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Lock tight. Hey. Shoot. Go check that out. Wish I could help you. To find the key. Nick. Stubborn lock, ain't it? See that platform in the distance? Near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. No Why don't way. You go I ask pick around this. there. I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Got it. Ugh. Cause I know in the previous playthrough I could just um. See that's the elevator way it wants me to go, but now nah, I'm not taking the elevator. I'm taking the uh the window washer way. And the but we're gonna get to check out this Kellogg person. See, it's funny. Whenever I thought of Kellogg the first time, I thought of like the actual goddamn cereal company, like Kellogg's Corn Flakes. <laughs> I think that's actually a thing, like a meme. I gotta dig that up later, but god, that was too good. Too damn good. Anyway, um... Well, I'm here now. Okay. The mayor's receiving visitors, as long as they aren't members of the... I don't care. 
Ah, yes, I remember you. I'm looking for a key. <laughs> well, we don't have every key in the city. Besides, every citizen in my city has a right to their privacy. Now, please, Mayor McDonough. I see. I'm sorry, but how well. Your word isn't hard enough. So that's it? Security is part of what keeps the. Please, Mayor. I see. Fine. Thanks for nothing. I. You're an ass. But if I put on a dress, per se. Might help the charisma problem. The charisma's a solid seven. Mayor McDonough. Back about this key business, I. Uh huh. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man. I see. <laughs> I under. What? Fine. I. Might be a reason why I can't do that. By the way. Oh, you were kidding me with this crap. God, that's stupid. It's a one-shot gamble at best. Ooh, plasma rifle. I gotta give me one of those. Hmm. I'm gonna go to a chem dealer. Public occurrences. Radiation poisoning is a common ailment, but we can cure just about anything. Uh, I'm gonna need some chems. Prescriptions filled right here. Sure. Yep. I've got a few minutes to browse. Chems. Yes, I know. Anything for uh, charisma? No. Why does nobody have anything for charisma? I gotta put on the dress and just give it a shot in the dark. That's all I can really do. This Mayor Mc asshole won't give us that key. I would have picked the lock normally because uh, I usually have a really high lock pick skill, but I try to balance out the uh, to game right now. Oh, yeah. Sorry, let's do a bit of a slow part this time. Most of this plot stuff, really. Come on. Let me in. Quick save here in case. The mayor's receiving visitors. Piss off. Catch me. Mayor McDonough. I know you're new to our fair city, but the press is not allowed in this office. Tell Piper to wait outside. I will not speak to members of the press. Piper can wait outside. <sighs> Piper. Hey, hmm? wait there. Okay, I'll be here then. Heard you rescued Valentine. Good work. Mayor McDonough. Thank you. I apologize for being so right. Strange, but Piper is a troublemaker. Nick Valentine? Did he now? Some investigation, I assume? A man named Kellogg used to live in the city. I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever we. I can't allow you to invade someone else. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man. Oh. Got it! Oh. I will do everything in my power to help you overcome this horrible personal tragedy. Right. I remember Mr. Kellogg. Didn't like him myself. Paranoid. Never talked to anyone. I doubt you'll find him. Nice. But I insist. Mm -hmm. I will catch you guys, though, next part, though, when we investigate Kellogg's house.